Bing bong, bong, bing bong, bong. This is Joe, the bearded historian. He'll tell you an interesting history. Be careful of his soldiers. They can be brats. This is Angel. She's an entity. She'll cause his us and plant her hands at you. This is Sue. She likes spirits, not the alcohol. She's the reason this channel exists. This is David. He likes fire trucks. He's here occasionally. Bing bong y bong, bing bong y bong, bing bong y bong. We preserve his story. Okay, this video is from April. We started on a trip. Then the weather decided to be stupid. I got frustrated and annoyed because we had to turn around and head home. And we decided to take a oppor the opportunity to drive around one of the small towns. We've been kind of doing that randomly. Um, in the past, we've seen us drive around uh, small towns or nearly ghost towns or even really ghost towns. Um, so this, I figured that would go into that category. Um, plus, it gave us a video and we didn't have to lose a day, which really frustrates me because... Uh, anyway, before that, we're going to do our race, and because it's a snowy video, um, I think we're going to do penguins. Hang on a minute. Also, being a genius that I am, I totally forgot Army's the birthday for the uh, Army coming up on Flag Day. So, we're going to do something about that. I don't know what, I have to talk to the builder, bearded historian about that when he gets up, because he's not up. Because he's a lazy bum. No, just kidding. He just sleeps later than I do. He sleeps better than I do. Everybody sleeps better than I do. Anyway. Alright, here's our penguins and start. Nope. Well, start. There we go. Alright. Let's see if we can see some names today. They're so watery today. Okay. We've got Supercalifragilistic, Tox, Bluegrass, Visiting, Donna, Rook, Hillbillies, JP, I, Abundance, Frugal, Talks, Bluegrass, Marketplace, Southern, Cruising Nuts, Derek, Praying, Amanda, Wit, Lucy, Laney, Hiking Ontario, Cruising Nuts, Donna's currently in the lead, Kaz, uh, let's see, Jamaican, um, visiting Anthony Rook. Rook's currently in the lead. Are you gonna win it, Rook? Uh, there's Kifla. There's M and J. Ooh, Rook did win. Hang on. Look, Rook of uh, all is another one of those channels who has no description. What is with you? I swear, it's very difficult to describe your channels. Anyway, Rook has some um, um, old videos which are. Looks like food related. We've got some lies, which are also food related. And then we've got a lot of lies, which are um, hanging out. Uh, so lies are where I've seen Roka the most. It's kind of a hangout, a meet and greet and chat and whatnots. So if that's something you like and enjoy, check out Rook. Like, share, comment. And enjoy our drive through a small town in South Dakota. Beard, bearded historian in the snow. Because <laughs> why not? Because you need to get out of the house. A little fog, a little snow, and uh, slightly, you know, slick roads that make stopping uh, creative. It's not as bad here as it was back there. Because back to where we were before our eyes decided we'd better turn around, the snow was starting to stick to the roads. It's not really sticking yet here. Yeah. Well, this right here is the, the town called Hermosa. And uh, originally it was called Battle River. And uh, it had uh, a cemetery and everything, but then eventually it became Hermosa, which is uh, a Spanish word. And then uh, and a lot of the times people will think of Hermosa as a suburb, which is understandable. You know, a lot of the people that live here go to Rapid and then you work, or they'll go to Custer State Park and work over there. Uh, it is in Custer County. It's one mile over the border from uh, Pennington. Uh, not a bad little town. We like coming up here for, you know, festivals. Uh, yeah, we've been here for a couple of uh, parades. 
breeds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they uh, they recently have done a, a number of uh, updates to the town. They've built uh, new houses. Uh, their school has been updated, which is kind of cool looking. Uh, they have a, a general shop, and then they've got two gas stations which handle food and stuff. Uh, they now have uh, two restaurants, actually. They've got a coffee shop and a regular restaurant. Uh, but overall, you know, some older houses, some newer houses. There's an old bank that we want to go into oh, very badly. Oh, so bad. We'll show you that when we get down here. And of course, Haha. Haha, -ha, yes. Haha -ha is one of our, our good friends. Uh, they also beg me to donate my books to them when I die. <laughs> I'm still not sure how that's going to work. Uh, but like, here's a church that we uh, tend to go through here and do Pokemon going up. Uh, the, the town hall and the library are at the same building, which is kind of a nice, you know, use of town uh, property. Uh, down here is where the post office is, a little tiny square one. I personally think it's silly, but you know, that's yeah. just me. And this big building here, which used to be a... Uh, there's ha, ha and there's the base. Basin uh, structure. There, right there. Yes. We just need to like bank. knock on ha, ha Hey, can you tell us who we need to talk to? I want to peek in here. We want to go in there, please. Just peek. Yeah. Just, just a little peek. Just a little peek. But they've been doing a lot of work on this one here. Um, as far as doors and uh, putting the second floor together. Uh, sadly, they had one guy pass along, pass on who was doing a lot of the work, but they're still organizing and getting getting functions together. It's funny here; they've got two churches on opposite that corners. Right there. Yeah, yeah right there. that one right there would be nice. United Church of Christ. But yeah, a couple big houses here. Definitely would, would want, want would want to go with that one. Right I don't here. know that that one's in use anymore. It looks very abandoned. Yeah, I think in the summer when we came by through here, it was like a catville. Maybe. A lot of cats wandering around. I think so. Yeah. I, I know there were a couple places where we had tons of cats. I just can't remember where they are. Right. But like over here, the town is also growing because they've got a lot of places that are now zoning for extra housing. And, uh, you know, people, if they're interested in moving, Folsom Road. Interesting. Think it goes to Folsom? Could be. Folsom is one of our other little small uh, ghost towns. We haven't been to Folsom in towns. forever. Not yeah. since we did that church. Yeah. They've got a church and a, a, uh, a school and a couple other buildings in that area. And a, and a fire department for the boy. But uh, it's funny, when you go to Folsom, you can either come back by Spring Creek Road or take Old Folsom Road back. Or you come down and you hop on to 79, or I should say 44, down by Crate, home of the dinosaur. You know what I think is funny is that this, we're about uh, 16 from when this will be posted, and it'll probably be summerish. And look at this, it's snowing. I don't know if you guys yep. can even see the snow coming down. Yep. It is coming yep. down. It's Yeah, it's really picked up in the last five minutes. Which is why we're heading back to Rapid, but yeah, we Joe decided to, to give me a little video. Yeah. Because, well. Yeah. We and talked about doing little towns again, yeah. and we haven't done any recently. This town was actually kind of nice about the uh, the you know the history side of it because apparently at one time uh, like I was mentioning is that it was known as Battle River and they had a cemetery and these folks were trying to put together the history of it and it turned into one of their books which is down by collection which is a, a fun little periodical uh, that talks about where the old cemetery was and the people that were buried there and some of them have been reinterred in the now Hermosa uh, Cemetery, which is cool because it overlooks the town. Right. Uh, but yeah, they have a huge Custer County uh, fair out here at the uh, the ball fields, and they have uh, you know uh, booths for cattle, uh, different events. There's the one store we frequent. Yep. It's their grocery store. Yeah. They they have a good amount of supply for a small town. It's, um, it's decent. It's decent, you know. I won't say it's great, but it's decent. Yeah. I imagine if there's something that you need, you talk to them, they could probably order it in. I would hope so, but I've never asked them. Yeah. Mostly because we don't live here. Right. Yeah, the, the parades are always really nice. Because, they have good you know, parades. They, I will say that. They do have good yeah, parades. They get, they get units all the way down from Fairburn coming all the way up here, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, old houses that are uh, kind of neat. They... Uh, have recently updated the property size to try to, you know, handle an increase in population. Again, this is kind of uh, 
feet over from what we had with the uh, you know with the the, the new base uh, bobber that's coming in is that there's people looking for more places to live and if they like horses and animals and stuff this out here is almost ideal because you know you've got places where you can come out and ride people have big yards <laughs> posted no trespassing keep out what no Oh, uh -oh. bless you and then we'll circle back go through the uh, the more populated parts of the town it's amazing how quickly it's uh, covered over with snow. Right? But I, I, I like coming out here because, you know, A, they throw kids at the kids. Uh, you, you always see a lot of people, real friendly folks. Uh, one of my former managers was actually on one of the floats. And she's like, Joe, you're still, you know, I was like, yeah. You know. I, I, I hardly age. It's one of my advantages. The hair gives it away, though. You know. Our, yeah, it's starting our, to get a little bit of gray. Our phone lights are open. Um, <laughs> But only a couple streaks. Mount Rushmore Ranch. Angus Ranch. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Hello. And then there's a big church over there. Religion is still strong in, uh, you know, small town America. I think we've seen, what, now five churches or six? Uh, I've lost count. I don't know. Yeah, because there was one back there. There was the one up here that's got the Pokemon stop, the two on opposite corners. They do have quite a few. They've got a, they have at least three or four churches. Yeah, which is kind of a lot for such a small town. And the other upshot is that uh, you know, with a town of this size as it's growing, uh, you know, they, there's the possibility of other businesses trying to come in if they wind up getting uh, the railroad to come back through this town. It might be another boom too. Because, uh, you know, there's always going to be people that are looking for, you know, places to work, places to live. Uh, bingo! Bingo! And then there's the big saloon. Yeah, there's a saloon the, over Also there. known as the Hermosa Community Center. A Sorry. saloon slash community center. Yeah. There's the coffee place. Get drunk, get drunk and vote. Um, that seems like a safe thing to do. Exactly. You know, it's not like we're going to take it and entice you on what, how to vote, you know. Looks like that might have been the old uh, firehouse at one time. Maybe. Three well, we know where the big one, the new one is. Yeah. It's we went and bothered the them a couple times. Yeah. It's kind of funny also is because the Hermosa Fire Department, the Keystone Fire Department, and one other all merged to become uh, Battle Creek Fire Department. And they just have the individual companies now. But, you know, for the, the sake of taxes and stuff like that. Oh, look at all the old uh, farm equipment. Yes, very cool. Wagons. And, see that uh, a lot. Hay, hay, hay balers <sighs> and stuff. And this railroad here, uh, again, this was the first one to actually reach Rapid City. This one goes all the way down to Shattern. Look and at this, uh, me the metal oh, work over here. It's a uh, cowboy. We got an eagle. And a moosey. Oh, two mooseys. Two mooseys. Hello, mooseys. Moosen. Moosen. Very, very much moosin. Very, very much. Or very, very little moosin in this case. Only two of them. Yes. We got a little gate there that's blocked off. Or sort of a property. gate. Yeah. A cable with a brick. I mean, I guess that's one way to do a cheap fence. Yep. A cheap gate. And there are uh, some cattle, cattle guards. Makes me wonder how much people, like, obey that. Because it's only blocking off the one entrance. You could easily go around it. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're in a car, you can't really it looks go. Looks like well, an I mean, old can, uh, but... church right there, actually. Yeah, it does. Interesting. Oh. I think they just recently moved it too. I think it's so. On, it's still on the uh, yeah. tiers. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Notice that. There's, there's nice. a, a road here that goes into the middle of nowhere. Looks like there's an old house down there. All a uh, bunch of folks taking the other down there. But it's so pretty. I mean, you know, yeah. it, it's a great scene. I. I've got friends that have like you guys get snow, yeah. Yes, we do. We we still get uh, sometimes. <laughs> you know. Of course, it's it's also one of the most unpredictable states in the union. I think they said that uh, for forecasting, it's a forty-seven out of the fifty states hardest to forecast, and then for uh, prediction on what you're going to get moisture-wise, it's a, a fifty out of fifty. Mm, fun. Because you might get uh, you know. I, I love it when there's a variety of 12 inches between what you get and what you could get. 
Yeah. You could have four or 16 inches of snow. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I love how precise they are. Yeah, yeah. We're going to we're going to aim for this one here, kids. They always give themselves such a big. It's going to be zero to f uh, three feet. Well, that's uh, well, the, the, precise. The, the other thing that makes Rapid City uh, to that, and in Hermosa, uh, they had a flooding uh, that happened a couple of years ago that was bad enough. It actually cut the town off from Highway 79. Wow. It knocked out the bridges, and they they had quite a uh, time with the city. Uh, contacting the highway department saying, uh, yeah, guys, uh, can you help us a little bit, please? You know, but it, it actually washed out several roads. Uh, but yeah, up in Rapid, our, our biggest problem that we have up there is because the Black Hills intersects the town, what happens on the west side of town might not happen on the north or south side. Which we have seen a couple times, and if we can ever get it to happen while <laughs> we have a camera, I'm going to videotape it, because... Uh -huh. It's hilarious. We literally have had rain on one side of the street and none on the other side of the street. One time when I was a kid, it, it got so funny because the north side was black. You know, black clouds. The, the street lights were on. Uh, people had to drive with their headlights. And it, it was hailing. You went to the other side of town. It's blue skies, 60 degrees. People are playing volleyball. You're like, um, was our town bad on this yes. side do we need to go sacrifice a calf or something or you know what's what's the story here but it, it happens you know the uh my dad uh who's lived here most of his life said the one thing that tends to be a uh an effect when they punched high when they punched interstate 90 through the black hills all of a sudden what used to take it come down through the gap and go through rapid now hits that opening it goes out and hits Ellsworth and so those poor guys out there with their houses you know they'll lose windows roofing tiles all sorts of things because the storms you know these big hail storms they'll go out there Rapid City uh, hasn't had an actual tornado since I think 1969 right and it hit a hotel up on East North uh, up on uh, Highway 16, just north of where uh, Perkins is now. But, and there's our social distancer cow of the, of the week. Hey, over there. All by himself, you know. He's staying away. He's safe. Now, uh, another little fun tidbit. Up above that hill right there. The one you can uh, almost see? Almost see. There used to be another little town back when we had uh, steam locomotives called Ajax. It was designed basically so that they could fill up with water or sand and it helped them get down the hill and all the way over to Rapid. Uh, since they moved on from steam locomotives, the town pretty much no longer exists. There are a couple old houses up in that neighborhood. Sometime when we do a, uh, a tour of that area, we'll have to show you that one house. There's also a couple old abandoned houses in that neck of the Houses! Houses! It's not like we go and look at houses. Us? I want, I want to look at houses. <laughs> and of course, there's also, uh, it was never a town, but over by Spring Creek Junction, uh, there's a couple houses, uh, one on each side of the road that we would love to go wander into. And uh, people who, I will call them rich, I'll say uh, people who can afford to build in countryside locations, they're starting to move into this area too because they're like, oh, it looks so pretty. And then when they get hit by a snowstorm, they're like, I want to get out of here. <laughs> because, you know, they, they're they not used to, you know, being in some of these uh, climate conditions. Um, up by uh, Edgewood, uh, way up there, uh, where they used to have the locomotive uh, turntable, which we got to go up and videotape sometime. Uh, there's a lot of places where people have built into canyons and stuff and I'm just waiting for the storms to hit and they're gonna be like uh what did we move into <laughs> I hope your freezer is full because uh, bank. you're not exactly gonna be able to go to the grocery store for a couple months there's a big old barn right there see that barn yep I would not mind walking around to that uh, area right there yes please and there's another little uh I want to say not exactly a ranch but somebody is uh, happily living over there. Here comes a blue car who thinks that they know what they're doing. Bye bye. DRO's 28. Okay. Whatever you are. 
but you know, it, I think we found our cloud. What makes you think that? Because uh, the road's disappearing in front of us. Mm -hmm. And on either side. Because there's usually a hill over there, and uh, I see no hill. The, the hills are gone, guys. The hill took a vacation and uh, took the visibility with it, but uh, we're going to. You know, we're, we're going about 58. The speed limit's 70. That guy is obviously an idiot, but, you know. At least the road is clear. Yeah. So even though the fog is condensing what you can see, visibility would be, I don't know, good what, 5, 10 feet? I, I would say we could see maybe 20 feet ahead. 20 feet, so we've got, I mean, visibility yeah. isn't great, but it's not this, bad. This ranch here does date back to the early 1900s. Wonderful. Because that's the road back there that actually will take you to Ajax. Yeah. And sometime later in the spring, when visibility is better, we'll take spring? a... Spring? Yeah, spring. We'll Are we take, currently in We're actually spring? technically in spring. South Dakota doesn't recognize spring. We're one of the states that doesn't recognize so, spring. Spring lasts like <laughs> two days here. Yeah. Our spring is usually about maybe two days, maybe a week if we're lucky. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's summer. But sometime we'll take a, a tour of that back area back there because they've done a lot of building uh, for houses and stuff. But also is where that one house for uh, Ajax still sits. And you can see where the uh, the irrigation systems and stuff are. Because they, they tried to make a go of it. Uh, there is another town along the railroad uh, called Brendan, uh, now known as War Bonnet, and another you know town that never really got going. But, you know, the, the maps all show the location and stuff. Uh, there's a few houses up in that neck of the woods uh, along the nearby area of uh, Old Folsom Road. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's all up in this neighborhood that's kind of wild. Yeah. Go for wanders, and uh, we'll take you folks along with us for a joyride. Hopefully. But, this has been the Beardless Hill Story. You folks have a good day, and we'll uh, talk to you later. Don't get lost in the fog, guys. Bye-bye.